have another update for Rising OS 1.4 final version which is for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3. Let's get started with full review and watch till the end. I will share every single details about this custom ROM. Should we use this or not? This is really really great. So get into the settings and this is the user interface of setting and if, it's, if you don't like that user interface you can also change it okay first of all you guys will get keep rising that means this message you can write whatever you want i already i uh, have written here keep rising that's why it's showing here and if you need to go on your about section then click on that image and then you will uh be able to access about phone rising away rising away 11.4 redmi 7 community and really thanks to mr unicorn for building this one for this great work for his great effort and here we have processor and battery and these are not for sure okay if you click on stories then you can access stories let me show you okay this is the ui which is really good and if you want to access display you can also do that this is the display section then we have the battery you can access battery and there everywhere you guys will get a different user interface okay then we have the device and android version android version 13 rising os 1.4 uh, elysium or and this is the vanilla build you guys need to uh, download nick gap score and i already dropped the link in description you guys can download gfs from there then we have the device information if you need anything extra you can go these are the things okay now let me talk about uh, safety and emergency password and accounts google other things just like other custom room and we have privacy setting then we have the system here and we have buttons system profiles which you prefer you can select and then we have the USB configuration, rising OS updater, and remember one thing: if you are using the older version, then definitely you can update without losing any data. Just first of all, download this from the given link in description. First, flash the ROM zip file, and then you guys can install the G apps. And remember one thing: install the same thing. That means you need to install G apps okay after flashing the room and you will be able to boot your device without losing any data okay now let me show you here we have the security option we have everything like face unlock fingerprint and app lock definitely as usual we have the great customization system in that rising OS okay let me show you the sound and vibration everywhere you guys will get a different UI and the customization system everything is different here and we have the media system haptics and vibration and haptics and this is really really uh, far better than the Aero OS if you need vibration and haptics definitely you can turn on uh, selecting ring vibration and other things uh, we have um, many customizations there okay power app volume control if you need enable that one this is great thing and we have touch sounds start charging sounds which one you will need you can do okay here we have the battery section i already showed you guys and we have uh, users here 86 percent about four hour and 59 minutes left and battery percentage is really good and the users user using performance and using experience uh, which you found uh, which is really really great and adaptive preferences are there and battery saver, battery light, and view use for plus 24 hours. You can do that. I don't need it right now. Okay, then get back to wallpaper and style as usual. And previous build we had issues with wallpaper and style. That was uh, really really uh, bad for that update. Okay, but that was adaptable, no issues. And this time everything got fixed. Okay now we have the display setting i already showed it here you guys will get adaptive brightness and then you have dark theme and display size and text the new user interface and then we have the color saturated or boosted whatever you need you can select here and then we have screen saver tap to wake and allow window level blur and double tap to sleep and desktop mode which is really good you guys can use it then I just want to show you the main thing which is personalization that means customization hub we have 
great customizations okay let's begin with lock screen we have always show when charging if you need that thing you can enable and we have the edge lighting system if you enable edge lighting definitely you guys will get animation like this okay and repeat animation if you need enable repeat animation edge lighting color section okay you guys can select color mode wallpaper based custom color notification color which one you need you can select definitely and of course custom color also available okay then get back and we have the miscellaneous uh, we have top uh, game space this is also cool the latest user interface and we have in game call in no action if you want to select auto answer or reject you can select so that you won't be disappointed while playing games or something okay we have added here the clash of clans which is good and google services enable then we have the parallel space the very important thing if you want to uh, use an application second time that means dual application actually you can do that and it's smart visual system manager this is really really cool thing system manager aggressive idle mode and screen of ringer mode then turn off bluetooth uh, automatically disable bluetooth on a screen off well you screen uh, when you just turn off your screen and bluetooth will be turned off uh, this is really really cool and disable mobile data as well when screen is off okay turn off location everything and this is really really cool system management and then we have the uh, weather setting and unlock high fps in gaming and camera spoofing which is really really good thing and newly added which is google camera spoofing uh, your device will react like pixel 7 pro so that you guys can unlock some google camera features which is really cool and netflix is spoofing and we have unlimited google photo storage as usual and if you don't need the button space uh, after, uh, at bottom space uh, on your keyboard if you want to hide that uh, space then you can use hide IMEI button space Android pistol animation screen of animation swipe to screenshot okay then we have uh, notification and quick settings we have some customizations here battery percentage battery styles position uh, you guys can customize your uh, bat uh, uh, brightness slider I will show you that QS dual tone then hide levels vertical layout and if you uh, enable vertical layout then it will be in middle okay let me show you here is that here i'm using on the top header image and i will show you that setting if you don't want to use that feature then you can turn it turn it off no problem and here we have the animation use animation and remember one thing keep your device refresh rate auto and you will uh, just definitely will uh, be amazed by using this one because you will feel just like you're using a 90 hertz display okay remember that thing and location a night light hearts for everything and extra dim everything is fine working no issues with that and then we have here high qs on secure lock screen very important feature uh, if you don't want to show your uh, qs panel on lock screen then turn them that feature on of course then we have custom qs header image which i already told you guys here you guys can see this is the header image if you don't need that just turn that off okay now you are done let me show you that now we don't have any header image okay then we have and you guys can select local images from there and you guys can select header image uh, filtering color and header image feed level and image height and opacity everything and qs space transition which i already showed you guys fade one cube in cube out uh, accordion everything is there zoom in zoom out which one you need and then we have the style as well outline to tone i already showed it in previous videos okay now let me show you uh, status bar and we have battery bar just as usual all regular customizations are uh, imported here or actually implemented here and logo style everything and now let's talk about the uh, last but not the least which one is user interface font style can be changed i already changed it and system icon pack uh, okay monitor setting you can select accent color custom color background color which one you prefer it's totally up to you and navigation style okay and then signal style and if people already know what we have here about phone style can be changed as well default center wallpaper center wallpaper banner big which i am already using right now i will show you guys 
hide user card preference uh, search bar style uh, just like aosp you guys can select that one uh, set settings header text i already showed it keep rising i already showed you guys and setting style of course you guys can select sushi and we have oxygen os color ways uh, arcane and stock pixel and i am using right now the audience card ui which is setting style you guys can change definitely now let's talk about the smoothness and very important thing which is uh, sound and vibration which is auto call recording and this is really cool working perfectly no issues with that and mind-blowing smoothness is there okay now let's talk about the gcam perfectly working fine no issues with that and this is the very last gcam i did a review not the last one um, uh, before the last okay i definitely recommend you guys to use that like a gcam okay with agc toolkit and now i will show you the latest gcam which is 9.0 is still uh, 9.0 in under development and working also working this one in that custom room i already showed you okay in ROS and then we have the Google photos unlimited storage and we have uh, Safrinet passed by default so no issues with that I already checked don't worry about that you guys can easily use any banking application no issues with that then YouTube and everything is fine okay let's talk about Geekbench is cold and if you keep using the ROM for three days okay just remember just use that ROM for three days and you will definitely love it okay here we have the single core I ran it for second times okay here is the first time I got 265 for single and multi core 1098 and that was good and I am really really happy with that and second time i checked and multi-core improved but single core one down and if you keep using you will be happy and i definitely recommend you guys to use that custom rom if you are willing to change your custom rom recently okay definitely you can go with it okay N now i already checked it only one time and which is 81 percent of its max performance which is cpu throttle okay cpu throttling uh another thing which is uh which i miss uh, what was that? I have showed it. Okay, here is that Google Photos Unlimited Storage. You guys can easily store your photos and videos. No issues with that. And now let's talk about last but not the least the Ortis launcher which is very very fast and accurate and everything is just awesome. You guys can change icon pack by clicking on that plus icon just click on it and download from play store and use and themed icons disabled if you want to enable themed icons just click and select default you will be able to use or if you want to use uh, any custom icon as every as whole then you guys can select there no problem with that and we have the force monochrome theme and other customizations as usual we have and home screen everywhere you guys will get different ui and huge customizations everywhere huge customization and we have that uh, gesture setting that means shake gesture action okay if you want to use this you can and we have the app search bar then recent miscellaneous we have used task bar hidden and protected application which is very important for some people okay the smoothness just just mind-blowing if i miss anything just let me know in the comment section below and let me show you the map and which is perfectly working and this is google map i already checked no issues with that so thank you for watching